How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. So today I feel like playing some uh, Scythe and uh, I feel like playing some Gauntlet. So I'm going to be playing more decks today. I'm going to go through different skins but we're going to start it out with uh, Daimyo here. I really do love the Hotline Slash so I think I'll leave that. And as far as the gauntlets go, I really also love Steven's uh, shields. So we're going to go ahead and leave that as it is. Gala colors, and then uh, we'll switch it up next time. Hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be, though. So if you caught my video yesterday, you saw me get diamond with uh, Jake. That was fun. Uh, but now... I get to choose who I play because last video I asked you guys who I should get diamond with. You, you said Jake, so I did. And now I'm just picking somebody I feel like playing and having some fun. And hopefully you guys enjoy. Going against uh, Jay Young right off the bat. That's always fun. It seems like he... Likes to jump a lot, so I might be able to get him with one of these neutral sigs. How cool would that be? Neutral sigs on gauntlets are so fun to hit. It's kind of hard, though, because of how far he backs up when he does it. Like, when you do that neutral sig, he jumps backwards, so they really have to almost jump into it. All right, we got a we got a KO with the gauntlet. So now let's see if we can do a scythe. And there he threw his weapon away, which may have gotten him killed. Yeah, probably. Yep. Alright, so we're doing pretty decent with Daimyo, and if you're wondering, yes, I actually have gotten Diamond with Daimyo before. Uh, I did it a couple seasons ago, I want to say, so I already know I'm pretty decent with him. See, when people get antsy, they tend to throw away their weapons. Ooh, that was nice, though. <laughs> You don't need to hit me with a SIG, Jayon. You just need to hit me with a light attack, really. Ooh, see what I mean? With great sword, like if they're in red and you have a great sword, don't even worry about SIGs unless it's like you're pretty sure you're gonna hit because honestly the light attacks are just as strong. It feels like, and uh, you know, you can get a knockout very easily with a light attack doing that. Alright, my scythe is uh I have a feeling he's going to be jumping into one of these pretty soon. Ooh, he actually hit me with that. No, 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 no neutral sig. Oh. Oh, he's playing well. I give him credit. He didn't want to give up. It was looking like I was going to three stock here pretty pretty easily. Then he just started trying really hard. And I, I respect that a lot. He made it into a very interesting fight. And he, he's trying to bring it all the way back. Look at that. Can he complete the reverse? Probably not. But... Cannot underestimate a Jay Yun after all, right? There it is. GG, dude. After I saw that spot dodge, all I had to do is execute a basic combo, side light recovery. GG, dude. GG. Alright, so Daimyo, he's like not my favorite legend or anything. I just felt like playing Scythe today, so don't be going out there saying he's like my main or anything like that. Definitely not, but I just love playing Scythe and Gauntlets in general. Oh, wow. I don't have esports colors for Mordex. That's too bad. Community Colors actually looks good with Dog Days right there. Um, so does Charged OG. Let's do Community Colors though. I think I'll be dropping a Community Colors code in the comments of 
the video after the premiere. So if you need community colors, you don't have them yet. Um, there's a few ways to get them, mostly from dev streams. Uh, but if you subscribe to my channel, you watch all my videos, you would see that I drop community colors and other Brawlhalla codes like every single video. So best time to get one is right after my video premieres. So, all right, going against uh, Diana, this should be fun. She's playing a very long range type of game, I see. There we go. I don't know why, but sometimes that neutral sig on Scythe is hard to hit, other times it's really easy to hit. Wow. I was like waiting to see what she would do and she just kind of didn't do anything. It's like, you do realize that you're losing and you, you gotta do some damage if you wanna win. You gotta come in. You gotta come in hot sometimes. Oh. Oh boy. Maybe that's why she's scared to come in. <laughs> oh man. She just killed herself. I didn't even do anything there. Oh, she wanted that neutral sig. I know she did. I love playing Diana just as much as anyone, and uh, nothing quite hits like that neutral sig, man. That feels so good when you can hit it. Oh, I should have done down sig. Every time I do a light attack and I don't hit, it leaves me open. And she's doing a pretty decent job of capitalizing on those mistakes. But at the same time, she's not really being aggressive. Um, and when you're losing the game, I mean, it's good to be careful, but you, get, you can't uh, be too, too, too careful. Otherwise, you never take any risk. And then uh, eventually, I don't know, man. In my experience, it just doesn't work out that well. GG. I knew she was dead once I hit the down air, so I was just trying to extend the play a little bit, but... GG, dude, GG. Oh, she's got that cool uh, Be a Hero taunt, too. Alright, let's do another more decks. Uh, let's do... Dune Walker. I'll probably finish it out with the uh, Fenrir. Man, actually, there's a lot of really good Mordex skins. Know what, Dune Walker? I do love you. So let's do one with Dune Walker. I think I'll do black. Yeah, black colors on Dune Walker actually looks good. Um, I don't mind using his default weapons, to be honest. It kind of fits his uh, look on this skin pretty well. And uh, so, you know, I'll just leave him. If you guys enjoyed this video though, uh, please go ahead and drop a like, it really helps me out. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content as always and other games as well. Uh, I did just get a game, Immortals Phoenix Rising. It's pretty fun, it's kind of like Breath of the Wild. It's not as good, but it, it borrows a lot of elements uh, of gameplay from Breath of the Wild. So if you like that kind of gameplay, you probably would like Immortals. But anyways, I might be making uh, some videos on that, so we'll see. Got him. Almost got him again. He actually almost got me. <laughs> we both missed, though. But yeah, Mortal Phoenix Rising is really fun. I might make a, a video review just...
giving my thoughts and stuff because they did send me the game for free they also sent me a candle and a puzzle for it don't know why I wasn't even expecting anything really they they just sent me it so it's kind of funny I posted a picture of it on Twitter so if you're not following me on Twitter at Lucian sword The double down Sig! Woo! Bringing me flashbacks of uh, Sidra down Sig, man, on sword. Ooh, now he's trying to hit me with those down six. Ooh, nice side air. Smack me down. There's some damage. Should have committed. Should have committed. Oh boy, don't commit that time. Don't commit. <laughs> it's like he didn't commit on the other downs that uh, ground pound that probably would have hit me right on. And then that time he ground pound when I wasn't even there. Probably a missed input, happens to all of us. GG dude, GG, he actually had me on the ropes. All right, uh, let's go Black Diamond Mordex and then I'll finish it out with Fenrir, Fenrir Mordex, I think, because this one I really like, uh, so I want to do it. Let's do classic colors though. I just feel like it looks the best on this one. I really love the Scythe skin, especially on this one. I actually use the Scythe skin on this one on other uh, Scythe Legends. That's how much I like it. All right, going against Lin Fei with the eSports colors. I wish I had eSports colors on Mordex, but you know. Hoping I get them uh, next tournament or whatever if they're doing viewership rewards so I can get those eSports colors on more Legends. Some people make like 500 Twitch accounts so they can just get all the esports colors right away, but I'm too lazy to do that. Oh my goodness, my recovery just didn't, just didn't exist. I just died. Nope, you're not coming back. Thank you. <laughs> she had me dead and then I literally took her with me. That was fun. Dude, her cannon game is so strong. That, and I just can't hit with any of my SIGs today. Oh boy, oh boy. 
No! <laughs> Why did I jump off like that? Ah, <sighs> GG. I don't even know if she was trying to hit me, she was just trying to recover, but man, that was great. GG, dude, GG. Alright, I'll do one more game with Mordex. Let's see. Fenrir Mordex, everybody's favorite, practically. Wow! I've never seen it in the Gala Colors, that looks incredible. I think I might have to use the Gala Colors again, guys. I know I have most of the colors, except for Skyforge, Goldforge, but... and uh, white, I guess, but this is pretty close to white. I actually like the Gala Colors way more than I like the white colors, so... Alright, here we go. Last match! Let's go! We gotta get a win! I think I lost one game so far, not that it really matters, but... I'm just having fun, but... But yeah, apparently I'm weak against Cannon, so I need to think about that, and maybe watch that replay and see how I could improve with the Scythe Gauntlets versus the Cannon, you know what I mean? That's how you get better at the game, really, you just find your weaknesses, and then, uh, you know, try to, try to get rid of them. Yeah, she plays very fast, but not always smart. Got her. Woo! See what I mean? Like, very fast, and that can be intimidating, but speed without, like, hits is not that impressive. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Yeah, you can hit me up all you want right here, baby. It don't matter to me. Oh man, I should have down like down aired instead of ground pound. I tried ground pound and I just went right into it. I always find like people that play really fast are usually weak to throws. I don't know why. And they seem to be weak against, like, just playing slow to their fast. <laughs> she really thought I wanted that weapon, so she did that, but... I will wait. I don't need a weapon right away. Ooh, she almost took the bait. Oof. Oh, man. Oh, she got back. All right. I was like, I hope we don't end the game that way. That would have been terrible. Hold that. No, 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 no. Thank you. Throwing away your weapon. That's a dangerous thing to do. And I'll do the same thing. Alright, alright, mate. That was close. GG. GG. I would have got back up anyways, but when she ground pound like that, it left, left, it o left her open for that recovery. Anyways, GG dudes. I appreciate that game. That was fun. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. As always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy guys.